Hi there friends, welcome back to Trev's Vlogs, and welcome to the Storm Recap video for 2022. Um, well, <laughs> as many of you will see when I post this video, it's well into 2023, and I apologize for that. It's I had a very busy semester, spring, uh, probably my busiest semester of college yet, um, and hardest, but I pushed through and now it's already mid-May. I already had this mostly done back in December and January, but didn't get it done in time to post it then and then got busy, so it's posting now. But if you're watching this later, then it makes no difference to you. Um, yeah, so uh, the theme for this year's Storm Recap was kind of just a broad end here, um, mainly because I spent four months abroad in Austria, um, from February, late February through, uh, mid-July, um, and if you've been watching my Austrian Adventure series, which if you haven't, uh, go and check in, oh, it'll be in that corner of the screen, uh, go check that out, um, there will be more episodes of that coming soon, um, now that I've got this out of the way, um, but yeah, there I saw various different weather events, a lot of lightning, um, some hail for the first time, actually, um, and yeah, some other stuff, so, yeah, to start off the recap, we'll start there in Austria, so, enjoy. Why 
Yeah, it's super being completed. <laughs> started a bit earlier than I thought it would, but dang god, this thing has got structure. Also looks nasty on radar, so we're gonna stand underneath the shelter now, especially with that light and getting closer. Do not feel comfortable standing outside anymore.
So I hope you guys enjoyed that look into uh, some of the weather I captured in Austria. Um, honestly, a lot more than I had expected to get from Austria. Um, but yeah, it was good. Um, again, seeing first hail ever was pretty cool as well as um, some good lightning here and there. Um, yeah, so after that I came back to the States and had a couple smaller events this year. Um, starting out with one that happened just a couple days after I got back. So here's that now. Yeah, so with that first event back home out of the way, uh, we move on to what would become the highlight of the storm chasing season of 2022 for me, and one of my most bet, well, to date best executed storm chase. Um, so that was July 20th. Um, yeah, and to make it, <laughs> to explain what made it so special, I'll hand you over to me then um for forecasting and then we'll go into the actual day um so i hope you guys enjoy seeing that it's going to take up most of this video so <laughs> all right friends welcome back to trev's vlogs so today is the evening of the 19th of june um yeah, and today I'm recording about weather stuff. Um, yeah, it's been a while since I've done a weather segment. I did some recording on that kind of stuff in while I was in Austria this spring. Um, and I actually saw hail there for the first time, so that's always cool. Um, but I'm finally back in the States, and we've got our my first and possibly only chance to see severe weather this summer coming up tomorrow we're looking at a pretty decent setup we've got some good over loft winds we've got two points north of 70 degrees um and good amount of instability anywhere from 1500 to 3000 joules of cape uh, which is relatively unstable atmosphere. Um, at this point, the question is only where. So, that's a question I'll answer tomorrow. Um, but it looks like there's... It's definitely possible that there might be some tornadoes tomorrow, especially if supercells manage to form. So, that'll be interesting to see. Hi there, friends. Welcome back to the vlog um yeah so <clears throat> today is now wednesday the 20th of july um so game day for storms um forecast has been a little tricky for this one um but i think i've got it down finally um it's also been a bit tricky because today is my mom's birthday so 
having to balance family stuff with storm chasing is something I'm having to take into consideration with this chase. Um, otherwise I would probably be on the road in the next hour to catch the storms as they initiate out near um, the I-75 corridor in western Ohio. But as it is, I'm currently targeting storms later in the evening. So not leaving here until like 7 p.m. and targeting around 8 p.m. to get them. So I think it'll still work out though. It looks like still some of the storms are going to be at their height right around then. So without further ado, I'll show you guys what I've been looking at here. So target area number one is up here near the lake. This has been probably the most consistent uh, shown on the models. This one here. Um, been showing a lot that there's going to be storms that come this way right around the top. Might be a bit more inland, might be out here, but somewhere in this area. Target 2 is down here in this Columbus area. Um, that's also been very consistent on the models showing something down here. Um, problem is it might be a bit far just given the time constraints and everything I have, so that one's probably going to be out of play. Which leaves target 3, which is the most uncertain of all the targets I have. Um, some of the lower resolution models show this being a target of some storms. High res don't really show it. Um, so we'll see, I guess. Um, but it's more like, most likely I'm going to go after target 1 or target 3. Um, as you can see by the forecast models, this is what we've been looking at right about like that in the wrap. Um, the HERS been, again, putting something consistently up in this area, but also down here in the Columbus area consistently. So, we'll see, I suppose. Yeah, mm, this is some of the idea. This, these are some of the soundings that we're getting here. Um, a lot of parameters look decent for tornadoes, except the lid strength index plots don't look as great. Oh well, go figure. But the photographs are decent. Hi there, friends. Welcome back to the vlog. So, we are now departing for Storm Chase this evening. Um, I was planning to leave at 7 p.m. and that's indeed when I did leave, um, which is good. Um, I was expecting to leave a little bit later, but it turned out that I was able to leave early, so that was good. Um, so now we're heading for what I would consider was originally my third target area. However, how the current observations have gone, looks like that's where I'm going to find the strongest storms this evening. So, we're heading down to the Mansfield, Ashland, Lodi area. I know those three cities aren't close to each other, and <laughs> I just said specifically Lodi. That's my plan at least, is to head to Lodi first, take a quick stop over, check out trends on radar and such, and go from there. But I may end up just going somewhere else. We'll see. But that's the plan. I'll see you guys later. Hi there friends, welcome back to the vlog. Uh, I did not be expecting to provide a uh, in-route update. I was originally going to stop and check radar here upcoming near West Salem to check and see how it looked. Until I just got over the radio that there is a tornado warning issued on the southern end of this line of storms. 
So now I'm gonna blast south to Mansfield, and I'm probably gonna get there right around when it's there. Um, that was not the plan. I was not planning to race the storm south today, but that's the plan now. Entering Ashton County. That's good. We're on track. tightening up there. Whoa! Holy crap, look at that thing. My goodness. It looks like it's putting together. Okay, should probably move here shortly.
hoping to get this at some point, but I can't because I'm getting chased. I just want to give a bit of context to why I was, what I'm doing here. Um, so a couple minutes early on radar, I checked and seen that, oh, I think there's a bit of a gap um, in a notch in the storm where I could get a better view of it coming towards me. Um, and the view was very spectacular at the time of the sunset, so I decided to turn north onto a road and head north. That turned out to be a mistake as the radar update showed a couple minutes later that I didn't see before turning that showed it socked in with rain. And the storm was moving too fast to my location to really get a good shot. This is not going quite how I thought. Okay, we're back in tornado warning. Crap. Um, so I also want to add a little bit of commentary on this clip. Um, as you can tell, the tornado warning caught me a bit by surprise. Um, I was a bit south of the main track the morning, so after evaluating my options, I decided to take, and since I was losing situational awareness, I decided to take an escape route to the south as I'd just come up that road and was sure of its condition. And so that's what I did to get back down to the main road to keep up with the storm. Yeah. at the moment, but...
friends, welcome back to the weather storm chasing vlog today. Whew. Yeah, it, it has been a couple hours. Um, I think the last update I gave was on the way south on 71 to Mansfield. Well, since then it's pretty much been go, go, go. Um, because that first tornado warning turned into a second tornado warning. Well, the first one I stopped for a bit and then realized, oh shoot, I might be in the way, so I moved to the east. And that was pretty much the pattern, just try, trying to move east to get ahead of the storm. Um, and it kept trying to develop <laughs> after me, which was, err. <laughs> um, yeah, and then I finally got ahead of the storms um, on the way to Millersburg. Um, when I decided to turn north, which was the biggest mistake of this chase. Um, not only did it lead me into an area that had been socked in by rain by the time I got there, because I'd checked radar a couple minutes before and it looks like it was open, so I was like, okay, okay, we'll head up there. Bad idea. <laughs> by the time I turned and looked at radar again, it had been socked in, which was not great. And then, while I was sitting there, reconsidering my options, a tornado warning happened, and I was like, oh, geez, now I'm really in trouble. Um, so, sensing danger, I just dropped back south to where I was and went back east. Um, but by that point, I was overrun by the storm and was never able to catch up. Um, so for the last hour or so, I've been driving basically east, trying to get ahead and didn't work. So right now I'm at a Sheets in New Philadelphia. Um, there you go, you can see it back there. Um, where I stopped just to get a restroom break and just regroup a little bit. But I think this is the end of the chase for today. Um, yeah, it, it was not ideal chasing conditions today, but it certainly was a better attempt than any other attempt I've had so far. I was right on target area. Um, yeah, so it was a good target, but just a hard storm to chase and hard terrain to chase in. So yeah, that's all for now. I'm gonna head home, so I'll record the bit of the storm that's still going on as I head home. But, uh, yeah. Definitely a good chase, though. Was worth it. Definitely for some of the views I got on the way. Made it worth it. So, I'll see you guys later.
Hi there, friends. Welcome back to Storm Chasing Vlog here. So, it is now the day after my previous chase, so it's Thursday now. Um, yeah, well, it wasn't as successful as I'd hoped it was. It certainly was, to date, my most successful storm chase. Um, I got on the storm of the day, which was a good start, um, though I was a bit late to it. Um, and I managed to keep up with it and got some nice shots of the storm before then being engulfed in it for the rest of the evening, for the most part. Um, till we got to New Philadelphia, and then I cut north storm. At that point, I was expecting the storm chase to be done. It was pretty much, except that I noticed there was a lot of lightning, so decided to pull off on next exit, um, found a place where it wasn't raining, and got some really cool shots of lightning uh, there. So that was definitely the highlight of the song, but I was aware of all the tornado warnings for the day were, so if there was a spot that there was a tornado, I was right nearby, so that was really good. Um, so I'm pretty happy with how it went. Um, Especially given the time limited options that I had. If I had more time, I definitely would have left it earlier in the day. But with the options I had, I think I did a really good job with it. Um, yeah, forecasting was pretty good, although the models missed a lot of the storms. So, oh well. Um, yeah, but it was good. Really enjoyed it. Well, <laughs> okay. Maybe I didn't really join, but it was cool. Um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed um, all the footage there. The um, beautiful evening shots I had of the storm, um, even while I wasn't able to stop the capture. It. Um, getting within five miles of tornado and the only tornado of the day, that is quite an achievement for me and a step up from where I was, despite the difficulties and all that. And then also the beautiful anvil crawler lightning that we got at the end of the evening was spectacular. Um, definitely the highlight of the year for me. Um, yeah, and after that we just kind of got a dearth of severe weather for the rest of the year. Um, July 20th was really just kind of like the peak day of the season for us. Um, I did miss some events in June when I was still in Austria here in Ohio. Um, but I couldn't really do anything about that. Um, and there were a couple smaller events later in July into August. Um, and the ones in August I didn't have my f camera for because I was sending it in for some repairs. Um, which I didn't end up getting, but that's a whole other story we don't need to get into in this video. Um, so that was just recorded on my phone if you notice the quality difference. Anyways, uh, enjoy these last couple clips I have for you, and I'll be back with you guys to conclude. not very far.
Dang God. That was very close. And that was about it for 2022. Uh, overall, we ended the year on a pretty good high note there. Um, with the chase on July 20th and some of the other stuff after that as well in August. Um, yeah, it was pretty good. Um, even considering how late I got back from college, or not from college, from Austria. Um, yeah, so now it's 2023. Obviously, you guys are seeing this. I am really late at posting this, and I apologize. It was supposed to be done in July, or January, but now it's July. Obviously, it's taken a lot longer than I anticipated to get this out. Same with Austrian Adventure, uh, as you guys probably know. Um, just because I've been very busy. Um, yeah, and for that, I apologize. Um, but it's done now, so I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, and I look forward to hopefully bringing you one in 2023 that is not so delayed. Um, or not, one of 2023 that's not delayed. So yeah, that's it for the 2022 Storm Recap. Thanks. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.